today topic of discussion is wound infection what is wound infection wound is injury it disturb skin or mucous membrane it underlining tissue injuries it causes redness pain and swelling it disturbs skin or mucous membrane and underlining tissue injuries it causes redness pain and swelling wound can be classified as first one is incision fancy name for cut it is typically narrow medium deep and bleed profusely wound infection there are basically two way that wound can get infected they can get infected from the initial wounding incident either that causes the wound has some microbes on it or the skin of the person being wounded will also have microbes on it second way you have secondary contamination wound may be it's a day old or it's at least sometimes old but the wound then get dirty or get some contamination in it and that's how it get infected second possibility of wound infection is punctured wound this is where you have a yeah, usually small sharp things like nail or needle or a thorn or a fang or a light that penetrate deep into the tissue it is very possible that it deposit some bacteria deep into the tissue because deep in the tissue if the wound seals over start to create wound abscess third possibility laceration laceration is where tissue is torn we would usually call this a yeah, scrap from scrap it is usually very shallow this uh, one this wound infection is very shallow so does not passate microbes into deep tissue fourth possibilities constitutions it is a crush injury usually the skin is not broken you might get tissue necrosis and that can have its own set of tissues last type of wound is burn fire microbes your skin now that sterile keeping sterile is problem so keeping the wound clean and well care these are the types of infection first one is incision second one is punctured wound third one is laceration fourth one is constitution fifth one is burn next wound abscesses abscesses a yeah, pathogen contamination typically bacteria wound infection almost bacterial infection very few viruses example hiv and other blood borne viruses can infect you bacteria is main way to spread few fungi also causes wound infection your localized collection of pus surrounded by body tissue abscess formation help to localize infection microorganism in abscesses are potential source of infection if they escape from localized area to affect 
cure abscess must rupture to a body surface or be surgically trained next common bacterial wound infection include staphylococcal wound infection group a streptococcal wound infection next pseudomonas aeruginosa pseudomonas aeruginosa infection sudden consequence of wound infection include delay in healing formation of abscesses extensions of bacteria and their product to adjacent tissue or blood stream first category staphylococcal wound infection this one is most common and least severe more than 30 stain recognized 2 are that staphylococcus aureus and staphylococcus epidermitis both are pyogenic meaning produced pus significance infection it can causes fever depending upon the virulence factor that organism involved to produced toxic shock symptom tss these both organisms staph aureus and, and epidermitis producing pus then causes fever depending upon the virulence factor there are producing toxic shock symptom staphylococcus aureus or most of pyoglase causing blood clotting then most of them clumping factor bacterial wound colonization then some of them protein a from phagocytic cells some of them going to have alpha toxin it produced a hole in host cell membrane lysis blood cell or other cells alpha toxin lysis blood cell and other cells next one is staphylococcus epidermitis this one is the predominant for skin infection it allow colonization so it produced biofilm which product organism from phagocytosis next epidemiology how to spread person to person nasal carrier two to seven times greater risk of surgical wound infection so this nasal carrier is the great risk and comparing to surgical wound infections risk factor advanced age immunosuppression or poor health then prolonged post-operative hospital stay these are the risk factors then preventive method cleaning wound removing dirty or fresh tissue then prompt closure then pre-surgical anti-staphylococcal medication we will take treatment for anti-staphylococcal infection then treatment apply ailment and antibiotic which stimulate reoperative process in wound so wound infection notes format first introduction then classification wound 
common bacterial infection, streptococcal wound infection, staph aureus, staphylococcus, edetermitis, then epidermology, then preventive medicine. Thanks for watching.